Hi guys, back again on my channel and today we are talking about the safety that you need to aware when installing a push start system onto your car so now uh, as for today the box that we have is a common uh, uh, push start system available in the market from China this one right here is a very high quality push start system okay so it is very have a very good build okay now on the inside you have the what we call the module the system module which is the main brain of the pke or passive keyless entry together with alarm system uh and come in one unit like this okay so again also we have a bunch of wire the shock sensor the um what we call the proximity key proximity sensor and the key itself okay now this key is programmable um, as per what i know this key is programmable to accept this kind of box means if you lose the key you can buy another universal one to be programmed to accept signal to this box okay so also you have the buzzer inside and then um, from the inside of the key it looks something like this now this is the inside of it okay so it use cr 2030 okay so this is the main transmitter unit so as it said it was killers basically what you need to do to enter the car is just come as near as you can to the car approximately two meter the car will unlock itself and whenever you um, go far away from the car it will lock itself now this kind of model which is we call it the q6b come with a push start system which is here they, they provide you the key a very high quality push start um, uh, switches here okay and then it also can use as a remote start from the key itself which is you need to hold the lock button for a few seconds okay so now that's what's in the box for this push start system now forget about it i need to come to the point that which is very important about this push start system now a lot of the day a lot of day uh, a lot of models in the market uh push start system they come with a very cheap price but this guy here they are not really cheap this guy come around 60 dollar which most of the time they just come around 20 dollar or something but this guy have a better build okay so even with this push that system uh better build push that system sometimes error can come okay so imagine if you are driving a car at high speed and suddenly your engine shut so when that things come because of the push that system is a very nightmare experience okay so a push that system before you install it is better for you to have both of this unit okay means let's say you buy this unit for two months or three months if the unit doesn't bring you any issue then buy another one okay now this is very important we don't know what happened in this box if this electronic will fail then basically your car is sitting dark there's no way you can um, drive it anymore because the engine will be dead or either the the, the box will be rogue okay so now after do several research about push start system after which my car having issue what happened to my car is whenever after i start the car the basically the car cannot be turned off okay i thought maybe it's the push start button causing the issue or i don't know maybe the wires here getting disconnect i don't know so after that what i know if if the car cannot be turned off okay if the engine cannot be turned off okay this is important points for you to know if your car cannot be turned off via the push start button what you need to do is you go on check the fuse box and then look for fuel 
palm pews which is around 20 ampere or 25 ampere that's what you're looking for in toyota it called efi okay so toyota they're not using fuel pump they're using efi as the name for the things okay what you do you take a small plier and then pick the pews disconnect it okay instantly your engine will be shut down and it's the safest way okay then after that what you do you disconnect the negative battery put it aside put the fuse back and restart your all system uh, restart the system back okay so that is basically how to turn off uh, and ca a car engine if your push start fail to turn it off okay now the problem with that is after i do that the car simply does not turn on back okay so luckily i was contacting my friend which i know he bought the same unit as me the same alarm but he not yet installed onto his hyundai so i contact him can you bring me uh, i was said to him can you bring me your alarm system because you not yet installed i just want to replace mine because i think mine is going rogue so he was bringing his uh his alarm box this one the pka system meanwhile i was waiting in the car the car start itself that is very very frightful moment for me because the car become rock it start on its own it's shut on its uh it's shut down on its own okay so after a few seconds start the car shut down itself i was worried what is happening now is it the pews i mean is it this this button stuck or is simply the box goes wrong after that when the car start i was able to turn up by pushing the this button and tapping tapping by tapping brake and pushing this button so the car able to go up however few seconds later I mean around one minute or two the curtain on itself back on so it is a very very frightful situation so what i do i turn off the car disconnect the negative so the car wouldn't start anymore okay so after investigating what is the issue is this box uh, 60 dollar box uh, causing the issue i mean this 60 dollar push push start system making the issue so i was looking online on how to check if this one is a very good uh, a very good component inside so apparently i would open the box for you guys to see from the inside apparently there's a website a china website uh, giving points on on how to judge a good push start system because they are selling their product and they claim it's a very good component inside then I compare to this system that I have okay so they say um, the relay is from uh, German relay uh, which is China relay uh, nowadays is very very uh, good I mean the quality is acceptable they hardly fail even relay uh, whatever made in Malaysia made in Indonesia they are very good nowadays they hardly fail so they said another part is to take a look is these um they call the five volt regulator which is they use um they call uh on semiconductor which is from the united states and when i look it on mine it's actually the same thing is on semiconductor all right apart from the capacitor which mine use uh, a normal we call it um uh non-solid capacitor or normal capacitor the, the the unit was using a solid capacitor but mine wasn't <coughs> so um but in this situation it doesn't matter because um this uh, unit doesn't produce much heat so capacitor is the least part to be pale in this system most of the time it's either the capacitor here or the chip here but this capacitor i already look up is a branded tdk capacitor which is also hardly fail so i was thinking if i buy the unit that says it is high quality from china i might end up on the same problem so i was investigating is it my toyota car or this guy then after look up carefully on the system board i finally found this i don't know if you can see 
never mind i will attach the picture here is the push start button where it's connected okay now this thing has been contact with water now that's explain why the car auto on itself and auto shut itself because this thing has been breached by water okay and then to add on the story you see here's the chip you see that the chip exposed by water you see the white cloggy the white cloudy uh, paint on the chip it says a water contact on it now i remember what happened before this problem come actually during the day it was very hot especially uh that i'm i'm in malaysia so that day was very hot in the morning and then in the afternoon around three three o'clock like that it's heavy heavy rain so what happened is this is what i can predict condensation happened inside this okay causing a water vapor to be uh, found on the circuit board okay so this what make the system goes wrong okay so now guys if you are planning to install push start system into your car using aftermarket one like like me okay and uh, unless if your car comes with a push start system that is fine but if you are doing something like me it is better for you to buy two system at a time i mean like let's say after a month you've been using two or three months you better order another one after the month uh the the three months has been passed which your system doesn't show any problematic matter then you might buy another one within that two three months as a backup okay so remember now what i do I, what i learned after doing this after installing this push start system is regardless what type of car you have okay like in my case it's a toyota wish which is everyone know a toyota is a better car they don't really um sensitive to uh to most of the thing that they been paid on okay like electronics and stuff this thing what you do after you install the wires and everything tie it carefully and this thing you put into a waterproof plastic bag and just tie it okay that's basically it so no ac water or your air conditioner water from your car can able to enter the box okay so once you wrap it in the plastic okay basically so it is safe for you to uh you have a safe peaceful mind that these guys does not come contact with water now this is very important because actually i found the reason for the failure of my push start system because i thought it was this circuit that goes failure like a component failure because of uh, unknown or cheap material being used but instead of i found there's a water exposed exposure in the circuit board okay so now remember guys regardless any system not just push start system any car alarm system make sure when installed in the car i know it looks stupid wrap it in a plastic bag tie it with zip tie or whatever you can find put it somewhere that is um, very safe from water not under your ac conditioning or whatever which may cause of condensation and water vapor okay so that is very important after all when driving with your family it doesn't sound stupid when your engine suddenly off as least at least you're protecting your family from things that going to happen like that okay so guys remember my idea what uh, my my point is now if you're installing any car alarm system or push start make sure you wrap the module in a plastic zip tight and you are good okay second thing is make sure if you're able to the system doesn't bring bring you any trouble one or two months buy another one as a spare okay so in case your system got trouble you're not going to be on tow in the truck basically just swap the unit like me what happened to me and you are good okay so guys that's all if you think my if you think my safety tip uh, safety tips was very helpful 
kindly subscribe to my channel um uh, like always my channel is basically run basically on all, all, all my experience and budgeting so if you guys can help with the subscribing that's fine okay so have a good day guys drive safe